Now, welcome back to another video. Today, we're out at Point Artright. Uh, beautiful little spot, just up near Coolum on the Sunshine Coast. Coming out, gonna do some shots here of the water, just some coastline stuff. I was gonna get the Mini 3 out with some new filters and some other things, but we'll probably do that tomorrow at the next shoot, which will be next week's. Because I can't fly here, unfortunately, we're too close to Coolum Airport. It's about 400 meters or 100 meters that way. I can fly, I just can't fly in this area where these beautiful rocks are. There's some uh, great rocks over there we're gonna have a look at and I'm gonna do some long exposure stuff here with this beautiful big rock. Probably have the ND1000 on and depending on light, maybe the 32000, I'll see how the timing is. But uh, beautiful day, nice and overcast, nice cool breeze. Uh, great to be home from work. Got home late last night at 10.30 and up early and into it. Anyway, let's hit that intro and uh, go take some shots. Right on, let's go. I'll just show you what we're looking at. There's Winston in the water. This rock looks fantastic. And I've got me bogs, big boots. I knew I was going to be in the water, so I figured I better bring the uh, give these a test out and perfect. 24 to 105 F4 on to start with. And that's the cone. Let me get rid of all the info. That's what we're looking at as our composition. And you can see, obviously, those waves are coming in on it. So I wanted to sort of slow that down a bit. And here's what I've got so far. Just rotate through them. That one looks pretty nice. So, so far, it's looking pretty good. Some nice shots coming through, so pretty pretty cool. Um, you might not have seen this before. I got this on, uh, I think, Kickstarter, Wentworth, little filter case. Uh, nice and a little bit thinner than my Nissi one, so it's sort of a little bit more, again, more room in my bag. I'm running out of room in my Shimoto. <laughs> not good. So you can see the waves kicking. Beautiful, cloudy day. Heaps of stuff. I'm going to spend a little bit more time here on this one. I might even chuck the 32,000 on and see if we can't see the difference in what it makes. So at the moment I've got the uh, Nissi 1000 on. Uh, you see the new Alpha Guard wrap on the to protect the lens, the new lens. So I've got the Nissi 1000 with the circular polarizer on to cut down that glare. We don't want that glare here. And then we're just trying to just move out that flow. I do have a couple of one, two thousandths of a second shots with the waves to get some as well. I might be able to just paint some of them in as well. So I might be able to get some smooth flow here and then paint some of the crashing waves. So I'm going to do a little bit of playing around with that composition a bit more. And then we will come back, find the next one. So you've got the uh, 32,000 ND filter on now from Missy. And again, we're try and just obviously smooth that water down and see how we go. So it's about 30 seconds, I think, for this one. And then I'll just get a combination of different shots. I can use some crashing waves and I'll do some high speed ones. These waves seem to get, uh, tides coming in, so these waves are getting a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go back to 2,000 for a second and see if I can't get some waves in this background like that, that I can obviously paint in as well. So yeah, see how we go, looking pretty good and there's Finish that shot. That looks pretty darn special. I'm liking that.
some of that little spot. We could do some more back there, but I'm just gonna head round over here and see if we can't find anything. I like the look of those. They look good with the ND1000, I think. But also is iron off here, and I wanna have a look down here somewhere. And I figured I'd have a talk and a walk so we can do some more sussing out of the action mode for the iPhone 14. Now, I've got my bogs on today, but unfortunately, on these slippery surfaces, they're not like Danners that have got that grip. So I've got to be a little bit more careful. Um, even that's a little cool little shot, I think. Some nice big waves coming through. Now, the beauty about the bogs is they're fully waterproof, so I don't care if I get my feet wet. I will if I go bum up, but... So I just got to make sure I don't go... Here comes the water. See, that looks pretty good. I'd like to do some of that. I'm just going to have a quick, another quick little look up here and see if there's anything more around this section. Mainly just for my knowledge, because my first time here. But uh, I found a heap I want to shoot. I want to shoot here, here, and here, and everywhere. <laughs> um, so I'll see how we go. Yeah, the beauty of the switch pod is get you here okay so now this is obviously action mode I just spin around on the switch pod which is one of the benefits of the switch pod I don't have a screen but I'm on the wide angle lens so I can see anyway very cool so we're gonna do I have a little bit more up here I'll have a chat to you a little bit as we go up there uh, rocks like this I want to check out we've got a heap to check out but I'll find the next composition and I'll come back and talk to you shortly Oh, look at this. Well, that looks pretty cool. I think we might have a composition here, maybe a, come down here and do a vertical or something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Radio. I think we'll get set up in here. Maybe here, do a vertical, get those waves splashing, maybe do like a slow-mo something. And uh, yeah, slow-mo and then get, get a couple of high speed. Same on the last one, get that slow-mo to smooth out the main majority of the water. And then I'll get some fast pace when those waves comes in, see if I can't catch a wave up and then sort of can blend that in. I think that looked pretty nice. Beautiful colour of the water. Obviously the clouds in the background get that texture depth and we've got some nice soft light tonight today. So it's a hell of a lot different to last time when we had that really bright light in the rainforest. So yeah, this looks pretty good. I'm gonna get set up here and uh, see what we can't find. Now, I don't know if you noticed, the, uh, the new Shimoto, this is, uh, what do they call it? Quite handy, that's what I call it. <laughs> Uh, it goes through your strap, so and you could a whole other lens. It's uh, extendable, so you can have big long lenses in there if you need to. Um, I've got filters and other stuff in there at the moment because I don't need the long lens. But uh, yeah, it's pretty darn good. This is the next shot. Obviously a vertical, um, but. Uh, I've just been doing, I've got a slow-mo on now. I've got a 15 stop or 32,000 ND on. And before I had some waves coming in, I had 2,000 for a second. I was just getting the waves crashing so I can blend them in if I want to and getting that sort of action. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I've got the, oh, it should be just about done. Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh, there you go, it's sort of a bit of a glimpse. That looks pretty cool. Need a little bit more time, actually. I don't, I'll have another crack at that. That's the cinematic mode on the iPhone 14. It's a new one. This is the second iteration of it. It does look better than the first iteration from the videos I've seen. Um, and I think it's not too bad. It's good as purpose. A uh, shot like this where you're stable and you're not moving as much, I think it's uh, I think it's doing a pretty good job. Obviously, the legs, you can definitely see it in the, in the uh, Winston's tripod leg there. So that feeling of depth of field and you can definitely see that with the background out, out here 
that's come up pretty, that looks actually really good. Whether you use it all the time, spots like this with the waves in the background, I think it's pretty good. I think it works out pretty well. Right, so go check this shot. Should be done. Yep. That's the last three, a little bit dark. I might go a little bit lighter. Do another set. And I want a bit more light on there. Go down to F10. Clean the lens in between shots when you're near the water. It's probably just got wet as I did it. Yeah, 10 second timer. See how that goes. Yeah, I don't mind that image. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Right out, I'll come back and if this picture's any good, you'll see that up there. shot we did here so you can see this it sort of looks like a oh like an eagle's head to me or something I'll just zoom in maybe back to here so where I was shooting was about there and I used the Canon focus stack option now with one we've talked about the last couple of shows that way I get all this here all these fine grains uh, in the photo and I think it look pretty it'll come up pretty good um, a sort of and about there, I think, was the thing, roughly the exposure. But uh, you'll see the photo after this. And, uh, yeah, it looked pretty cool. I thought I'd uh, just seen that walking past and I thought I just sort of stuck out. Definitely worth a crack. What a beautiful day. Right, yeah, go back over here. I've got maybe one, two more shots and then we'll be done. Uh, nice, beautiful little day. Great little spot. So this is me third little, third and possibly last composition. I'm not sure. Ah, it's going to slip over. So, you have a look just here. There's that, like a little couple of cracks or little streams running through. And when that water comes through, you'll see it now. Sort of just flows down like a little natural waterfall. That's pretty cool. So I've got the ND1000 on. And we're trying to get a bit of flow on that. So let's see what we got. You can sort of see there. I've got a few little options there. That's a good one. Nice misty ones, and then I've got some just like normal shots. So, 
Yeah, not bad. Just having a bit of a play with that. And we are pretty much done and dusted, I reckon. We will, I might have a look at these little rocks, these two rocks here now before I go. of the day and you can see I couldn't go away from these beautiful rocks that's sort of what we're looking at and you can see here there's a little gap between that rock and you'll see what I'm looking at and that water flows through so see you got that and then it's just sort of like these little rocks acting like fingers so when you slow it down with the ND1000 it's it looks a little bit like mist uh, so yeah very very cool so just doing the last set now I've got a heap of really good shots and I also did some, obviously, I did some ones without the ND on just to get the texture and to get the rocks as well. Circular polarizer on to cut the reflection. They look fantastic. Uh, beautiful day. Nice soft box light. You could pretty much call that soft box uh, light, I'd say. Uh, yeah, looking pretty spectacular. So we're done and dusted. See if I can't spin this around to show you what we got without getting hit by a wave. You can see that. You can see what I mean when the water's coming through. So that's like a heap of heap of big waves, and that's no waves, and then you get sort of the fingers, and then ones like that. That's the that's a gem, and a few others. Oh, that, that's a really nice one too. So that's sort of the effect I was going after. So you can see here that just the sort of the mist going through the rocks. So you get to see the texture of the rocks and then the mist of that water using that ND1000. So very, very happy.
of here. I'm going to pack the bags up. New top loader from Shimoto comes in handy. Uh, I can put the filter bags and then my spare lens in there, so that's really cool. It is extendable too, which I didn't tell you, I think, on the last video, so that's handy. As always, the uh, R6 did a treat. Beautiful day, thin, wispy clouds all over. Sort of like a softbox, so very, very cool and super helpful. Waves like that and an amazing water flow like that. It's pretty hard not to get a good shot on a day like today. Very happy, great to get out, and after two weeks of hell at work, super fun to get out and switch off and just, yeah, come normal again. <laughs> it's just, you get set up two weeks in a mindset and you get locked into a program and a routine, and then you gotta find a way to switch it off, and that's what this does here. So yeah, awesome day, had a great day. If you like the new wrap, Tiger Colors on the 24 to 105, very nice. I'm going to head off, go get a feed, and tomorrow I'm going to probably hit Mapleton Falls and do some drone stuff. I've got the new Freewell Anamorphic. They've arrived, the new lenses from Freewell. We're going to test them out and see if they're any good. It's got that massive big 100 meter plus waterfall off the cliff face, uh, which is perfect for the Mini 3 because I can do that vertical panorama. So that's the plan for tomorrow, which will be next week's video when this one comes out, which was, this will be probably December sometime. Uh, yeah, hope you have a great day, and if I don't see you again before Christmas, Merry Christmas, and go check out, buy yourself some merch for, for New Year's, or yeah, Christmas, or next year. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, stay safe.